So who would feel brave enough, game, would you like to come up and do a meditation and a dialogue or just want to ask me, she's up. <laughs> this is the bold action step. Okay. Well, how about another, do you have another stool? That's great. I, I don't want to loom over you, so I thought I would just take a... Okay. 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 All righty. Everybody, we can do this together. Let's do the meditation, and then everyone will be with you. Okay. okay? So everybody, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in for a count of five, and let it out. And another deep breath in for a count of five, and let it out. And again, for a count of five, and let it out. In for a count of five, and out. In for the count of five, let it out. In for the count of five, and let it out. In for the count of five, and let it out. In for the count of five, and let it out. In for the count of five, and let it out. And one last time, in for five, and let it out. Now I want you to imagine your crown chakra is opening. That's the top of your head and you're going to feel this golden light from heaven and spirit and all your loved ones in spirit just entering the crown chakra and it's drifting down your body starting at your temples, your face. Allow it to wash over you and feel it as this warm golden light having the power to penetrate your blood, your organs, your cells and feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into the chair as this golden light is washing down your neck, your chest, your upper back, your mid-back, down your arms, out your hands, down your legs, your mid-back and lower back, your quadriceps and the back of your legs, your shins and your calves, and your insteps and out your feet. And as you sink deeper and deeper, see yourself in a well bucket being dropped lower and lower, or an elevator dropping deeper and deeper. And when you feel free of tension and worry, if you sense any area that is holding tension, just breathe into it and flush it out. And when you are ready, Nisha, just say, okay, take your time. Keep breathing and sinking. Okay, now we're going to do my meditation for making contact. So we're all going to imagine we're walking beside you along the bank of a stream. The sky is a perfect blue dome and butterflies and birds are accompanying us on our stroll. And as we walk with each step, we come, become more and more weightless, as if we are just floating above the earth. And we effortlessly cross the stream from this far shore it's a perfect emerald meadow. And beyond this shore, we see a silver lake. Its surface is smooth as glass. And on the far side of this lake is the person that you need to connect with. So we're going to just teleport over the lake to this far shore. And now what we're going to do, Misha, is I want you to make a first statement to the person you need to speak to and call him or her by name. Keep 
your eyes closed. Hi, Mom. Hold on one second, Misha. We need a mic for you. Say what you wish to say to Mom. Go ahead. Don't worry. Hi. Um, I need to feel you more with me. How can I do that? Take another breath in, Misha. Now I want you to see if you have a thought in your mind, a picture, a feeling, anything that comes to you from mom. holding back because you can hear what she's saying to you. She's telling you something very specific. Just blurt out what you hear. I'm with her. Right? But she didn't say I'm with her. She said I'm with you. So when you dialogue, you speak her words too. Okay? I am with you. Now say back to her, Misha, what you want to say in response. I don't, I don't feel you. Okay. Take another breath in. Now, what do you hear her saying now? She's also giving you a feeling. You feel? Yeah. I feel her right at my third eye. Right? She's like right there. What is she telling you? Because she has a lot to say to you. Do you want me to help you? Yes. She's saying that you are so sad, you are missing her so much, that it is actually blocking you from feeling how present she is. Does that sound right? Yes. When we are so sad, it blocks the sending and the receiving of signals. And she's saying that if you would allow her to enter you, you won't be so sad. Take another breath in, Misha. There's something else you want to say to her. And it's negative. Are you aware of that? Yes. And she's saying that you can say it now. So say it. <sighs> and you don't need to protect her. She doesn't need that. How could you let him do that to us? How could you let him separate us? Right, right, right. Now when you ask the question, you want to understand, but what you're really not saying is, I'm mad at you. And that's what you need to say. <laughs> and she has an eternity to work this out with you. You don't need to hide how mad you are because she knows it. Now, do you hear what she's saying as to why? You want me to help you again? Yes. She's saying that she came from abuse. She didn't know any better. She's ashamed of this, that nobody ever showed her how to stand up for herself against an abuser. This is what she's saying. Do you know this about her? I don't. Well, this is what she's saying. So here's the thing. There needs to be a lot of conversation between you and her. And you haven't been connecting because you're mad at her. And when we're mad, it's like a huge barricade. So it is an absolutely wonderful beginning that we will continue. Because she's ready to keep talking with you about this. And we will talk back. 
back and forth. I mean, obviously, I didn't even look at, you know, the signal here, but I have a feeling I'm out, outstaying my welcome. I'm okay. Is there one more thing you want to say to her before we say we'll continue the dialogue? I need you to be here for me now like you weren't. Okay. Then. Okay, so now take a breath in again. Now, do you hear what she's saying about this? Now, this is very big. This is what's been blocking you. Again, you're so pissed at her that you're not aware that she is here. She has got her hand on your shoulder. She's trying to do everything she can to let you know that she is here with you now. And because you've been so mad, you haven't been letting her in, and you haven't been feeling that she's giving you exactly what you want. She is here with you now. And she is saying that if you even feel like kicking and screaming, she's here with you. She's just holding you, Misha. Can you feel that? And how do you feel? She used to do this to your hair, right? She, oh, she wanted me to do that for you. Now, that is such a specific gesture. No one's ever given me that gesture before. Now, that just underscores how present she is to you every minute. How do you feel? Calm. Calm is a big deal. Yeah. Considering the ride we've just been on, that's a big deal. And it's, you were very, very brave to begin this work. Just as in you know, our earthly relationships, we don't necessarily work everything out in the first dialogue, but boy, have we come a long way. Okay? Yeah, my heart was racing when I got up here, and now it is too calm. Welcome. Excellent. Thank you so much for beginning that process. You're so brave. Thank you. Thank you. Very brave. That was wonderful. So Love Never Dies is being made into a TV show that I'm going to host and also a film, but I must thank all of you for helping me see another piece of my bigger game. And it's by meeting all of you and experiencing your incredible, how evolved you all are, how each one of you is living a true higher purpose. I realized that I want to bring other coaches to a training where I teach them how to do my transformational trans-dimensional grief therapy method. So that's going to be ne the next thing that's going to happen, and you've really inspired me in that regard. So I want to thank you very much for uh, inviting me. Thank you.